Now, the three majors that you absolutely should be going to college for, there's three of them, and only 5% of, this only applies to 5% of the population of college students, is law. If you're going to be a lawyer or something, you need to have a law degree. That's obvious. If you're going into medical or becoming a doctor, Again, you become a dentist or a doctor, you need a medical degree. You need that foundation. You're dealing with people's lives here. And the third one is engineering. You know, engineering, again, you're dealing with people's lives. When you construct buildings, you're do dealing with big things. And when, a, when you're a junior engineer or whatever, you're not really constructing building, you're working for somebody else and everything's checked anyways. But the point being, you know, in other countries, you hear about buildings collapsing and killing tons of people and you don't want that to happen. But those are the only three careers where you need to go to college. Everything else, business, or I, even some colleges are offering today entrepreneurship degrees. I mean, isn't that an oxymoron? If you are going to college for an entrepreneurship degree, it doesn't make sense. Entrepreneurship by its nature is actually just doing it. It's, it's uh, Entrepreneurship is noth has nothing to do with, you know, taking tests or following the rules or, or you know, you know, I don't know, getting A's. There's no correlation between that. In fact, most of the successful entrepreneurs are like bad, are actually bad in school. You know, I was, I was never a good student. I was, I, I'm smart. I think I'm smart, but I was always a C student. And the fact of the matter is your grades do not tell if you're going to be a good entrepreneur. In fact, entrepreneurs, to be a good entrepreneur, as this is a quote from Arnold Schwarzenegger, don't break the law. Good entrepreneurs break the rules. You know, you should never break the law. You can go to jail for that, but you break the rules. People who do well in school are good at following rules, okay? Entrepreneurs by nature are not rule followers. We are creating our own businesses. We are not fitting into another person's box. So there's no reason why if you're going to be an entrepreneur, you should go to college. Okay, and please, if you haven't responded before, for, first off, if you want to learn how to be an entrepreneur, if you enjoy this content, this is a rant, this is not my usual content, please click subscribe to my channel, enable the notification bell, click a like or whatever. And if you haven't commented and let me know, how old are you and are you thinking of going to college or not? Let me know, I'd, I'd love to hear. Or if you went to college, what was your experience? Did it help you? Did it not help you? Write in the comments. I really want to hear about your experience and see what others have experienced with this same subject. Now, what I find really interesting about the education system, and I've actually studied this because I'm a teacher myself. And between you and me, you know, I, I, I teach on YouTube, as you see, you know, and I, I teach, you know, I teach on Facebook and I teach other ways and, you know, I make over a million dollars a year and I, I actually love teaching, but I believe that teaching in colleges is so government controlled these days. It's such a rigid curriculum and the world is changing so fast that it absolutely doesn't make sense. Teachers I was learning from were not successful and I was going to a business school, okay? Why am I learning business from teachers who are not successful? And this was actually uh, uh, the story of my best friend. His name's Carlos. Actually, he has a YouTube channel. Maybe I'll have my editor's link at Carlos Cruz. He doesn't really post, but he has a few videos. And he was in Guatemala, okay? He, that's, that's where he's from. And he was going to college. And he, he was running an online business while he was going to college. And he was sitting in class one day and out the window. He was just kind of daydreaming because he found class really boring. He was 18 years old at the time and the teacher's parking lot was off to his left. It was out the window to his left. And same thing. He was going to college for business and he was looking out the window and he was looking at all of the teacher's cars and he's looking at them and he was taking account of what types of cars were teachers who were teaching in business how to be successful were driving. Honda, Toyota, Subaru, Subaru, Toyota, Toyota. And he thought to himself, why am I learning business from a teacher who is driving a Subaru? Think about it, right? 
Why are you learning business from somebody who's driving a Subaru? And they're not driving a Subaru by choice. They're driving a Subaru because they can't afford a BMW or a Ferrari or a Lamborghini or whatever that is. It doesn't make sense. And what he did, what Carlos did was that day, he actually just got up in the middle of class. He said, screw this. He got up in the middle of class and he just left. And he quit college that day, just in the middle of class. I mean, Carlos, Carlos is a, a, you know, a big business person now. He runs an eight figure business out here in LA. He's my best friend. We have a lot of fun, but he took a path less taken. And, you know, it takes a lot of self, self confidence to be an entrepreneur. I'm not suggesting it for everyone, but the point being is so many students are told to learn business. You need to learn from these teachers who don't have much success in business themselves. And it just doesn't make sense. And it doesn't make sense in a lot of ways. You know, if you want to learn these professions, if you want to learn art, go be an apprentice for an artist. Work for them for free. Just say, hey, can you pay for, you know, clothing? And could I camp in your backyard? Whatever, you know, but learn from somebody who's doing it, who's on the front lines every single day. That's how I learned. That's how all of my successful friends learn. I surround myself with a very high net worth of people and they all had some sort of mentor. They learned from somebody successful. They didn't learn it in school. Now, why do I tell you this? I tell you this because I want you to think for yourself. I tell you this because I want you to question what you're being taught. I'm telling you this because I've continually questioned what is real throughout my life. Now, I'm not going to go into my crazier conspiracy theories, but the fact of the matter is education is not built to help you think for yourself. The only person who can help you think for yourself is you. If you think uh, there's there's some truth to it, let me know. But talk to you soon. Make sure if you if you like this video, share it with others because I believe others need to hear about this content.